What's up, y'all? This your girl, Kat, and I'm back with another video. All right, y'all. So I thought I started doing um, videos on this couple or ex-couple um, about a year ago, maybe a little bit over a year ago, um, just exposing the fact that uh, that ex-spouse basically used him, uh, tried to extort him, tried to use the kids against him, and, you know, just tried to drag him all the way down through the mud, in the mud, across the mud, all the way over to back to Africa, where, hell, we was, we came from, right? So, anyway, just kind of dragging out how that person drug him, and at the end of the day, is. Anyone can see, even the haters, look what God has done. This is all that man wanted in the end. He wanted to be able to spend time with his kids, his offspring. You know, even though the relationship did not last, he still wanted a relationship with his kids. And as he was being tainted as the bad person, the abuser, uh, the person that... Um, is is no good you know deep down inside i knew that he was just be he was another human just being attacked right because we all get attacked at some point and he was under a very 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 dark spiritual attack i don't know what god was trying to show him um what his spirit needed Whatever it was, it was the case that God had to sit him down and actually come to realization like, look, son, I know you say that you don't believe in God or you don't think, you know, da 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 whatever he used to say in the past. He made a believer out of him. This is what happens when you try to mock God or if you think that you can do it all on your own. Your flesh is just so strong. You can do this. You can do that. No, that's not. That's not the case. We have to lean on God's understanding. We have to lean on his strength when we come under attack from things like this. So all in all, I just feel like she was sent not to destroy him, but to help build him and build the character that he knows he possesses and that the, build the character that God knew that he possessed because um, at the end of the day, it, we all get broken down in some for, form or fashion, no matter if it's through a person, through a job, through our kids, it's through some type of similar situation. And we have to come to the realization that we cannot do it on our own. We have to rely on uh, the most high, which whatever you guys call yours. Um, you know, we all have our different beliefs, but we definitely have to come to an agreement that there is a higher power that is way stronger than our flesh, way stronger than our all of our minds put together. Right. So um, I feel like this was the situation that played out in front of all of us. Um, the ones that were watching, the ones that were paying attention, um, even the ones that tried to uh, throw him down under the jail, right? He never went, you know, I mean, he had his ways, of course, he's human, but he never uh, showed any type of form of weakness through this whole thing. He stayed strong, he kept his head held high, and he fought for his daughter, and for his other daughter that he was able to see and see his grandchild. So um, at the end of the day, he kept his head held high, although everyone in all the different attacks uh, that were coming at him, he basically blocked all of them. And God did it for him. I'm not going to say he did it on his own. He definitely had to dig deep and say some prayers of his own uh, privately. Um, sometimes he prayed online, you know, which shows that that's what we have to do sometimes. Um, but yeah, he definitely had to dig deep and find the strength within and use that godly strength that God knew he had to come into realization and understand that he needed him. So at the end of the day, um, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I just wanted to uh, come on because I'm glad that this played out like it did. Um, there seems to be a decent co-parenting um, relationship that's going on 
uh, that we saw on the other day on his live when he dropped little baby Amora off. Um, I'm not sure about the other baby mom, but uh, we did see that he went and saw his daughter and he saw her in the hospital and he saw the, his granddaughter. So all of that is just wonderful. I am so glad that um, this all played out for him. He's still doing what he does, uh, content creation, and no weapon formed against him shall prosper. And the same for you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You just have to keep your faith. You have to stay strong. You have to keep fighting and keep your mind Keep your mind strong because that's what the devil wants. The enemy wants to destroy your mind so that once he takes your mind, that's it. Case closed. There's nothing else that you will be able to do because you no longer have a mind to think of your own. So y'all keep your minds guarded. Keep your hearts guarded. Keep your faith strong and yeah, just uh, keep living. All right. That's all I got for you for today on this story. This your girl Kat and I'm out. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and hit that notification bell on your way out so that you'll be notified the very next time I drop another one. All right. Peace, love and light. Mwah.